To set up a meet, click on Meets in the main menu and Meet Setup. This is the Meet Setup screen. Every time you run a meet, you must set up a new meet. To create a new meet, click the New button. Type the meet name into the box. Your meet name should be descriptive and less than 30 characters. Now press Enter. You can change the date that the meet will be run by typing it in here. You can also fill in the rest of this information, meet location, announcer, timer, scoring, referee, and starter, but this is optional. Next, select the point system that you want to use. We will run a standard dual meet using the standard dual meet point system. You also need to select the event list, which we will also run standard NISCA high school event list. You cannot exit out of meet setup unless you have selected these two items. You also have to select the teams that are participating in the meet, at least one of them. Click on Choose. Here's where you select your teams. On the left are the teams that have been entered into your system. On the right are the teams that have been selected to be in the meet. To select a team, click on the team to the left and click on the arrow or simply double click on the team on the left. If the team you need is not in the list, you can click New Team and add their information into the Team Administrator screen. When you have finished, you will then be able to select that team from this list. When you have your team selected, click Accept, and you will be returned to the Meet Setup screen. A quick way to check and make sure your teams are entered correctly is to click on the Team Scores button. This will show you which teams are entered and whether or not they are set up to score. Under the Eligible column is the checkbox that says whether or not they are eligible to score. If this box was checked in the team setup, it will be checked here. If it is not checked, the team will not score in the meet. When you are satisfied that you have the team set up correctly, click Exit. Clicking the Edit Team Info box will take you back to the Team Administrator screen and allow you to select a team and change any of the information, including coaches' names or captains' names. Now let's take a look at the Meet configuration. Select the Change button. Here you find options for displaying information on the scoreboard and for how things are printed. For scoring options, you have the option be between online scoring, which scores immediately after each event, or offline scoring, which means you go back in after the meet is over and score each event individually. When you print the places, you can print them first to last or last to first, and you can print one or more copies. If you don't want the places to print, set the number of copies to zero. For printing team scores, you have the option of always printing them after each event, never printing them, or to have the computer ask you after each event whether you would like to print the team scores or not. The results can be ordered first to last or last to first, and you can choose the number of copies to print. Again, if you don't want to print any copies, set this number to zero. If you have a second printer hooked up to your computer, you can print individual ribbons and relay ribbons. Use the spinners to set the number of ribbons that you want to print for each event. And you can also choose to print them by finish place or by score place. Again, if you don't want them to print, leave them set to zero. For the scoreboard options, if you want to show the team scores on the scoreboard after each event, you can set it to always show the scores, never show the scores, or have the computer ask if you would like to show the scores after each event. You can choose to show the places first to last or last to first, and you can also choose to alternate the names and times after each heat. If you do this, the name will stay up for 7 seconds and then the time will come up for 7 seconds, and it will alternate back and forth until you're ready to move on. Leave the operator arms timing set to yes. If this is a co-ed meet, click yes, and you have the option of totaling the team scores. We're not going to run a co-ed meet, so we'll leave that set as no. When you get done, if this is the way that your meets are usually going to be set up, click the set as default button. This way, the next time you set up a meet, all of these options will be exactly the same. If you need to come in and change them, you can. Once you're finished, click accept. If any of the values have changed, you will be asked if you want to save these settings as default. This is the same thing as clicking the Save as Default button. There are a few more options that you have for meet setup. You can choose to print the heat results after each heat, 
to print the event results after each event, and to confirm the heat results, which allows you to check the results after each heat to make sure everything is correct before moving on to the next heat. If you want to move quickly through a meet and you don't need to check the results to confirm or DQ anyone, you can uncheck this and you'll move right on to the next event. For more information about the record groups, please check the Meetware help files.